Heat Hero. My name's Arf McArdle and my business is called Heat Hero. Heat Hero makes solid fuel heating systems more efficient. I probably always knew I wasn't going to always work for somebody. Like, it's not that I don't take orders, you know, like I do take orders, like I'm married. I'd have no problem working with the dragons. I'm, I'd be looking forward to them and I am looking forward to meeting them. It's an experience of a lifetime, really. Hello, dragons. All over the world, people love the heat from solid fuel stoves. And I've invented the most efficient way to get that heat from the stove to the radiators and hot water. My name is Art McArdle, and I come from a company called Heat Hero. I put a, a solid fuel heating system into my own house. I realized straight away the main problem in the solid fuel heating system was the circulation was slow and there was no pressure in the heating system. After about four years research and development, I came up with a product that fixes that. Heat Hero now is the only product in the world that can create pressure and strong circulation. Heat Hero improves the efficiency of solid fuel heating systems by up to 30%. Major stove manufacturers in Ireland now are recommending Heat Hero to be installed with their stoves. And Waterford Stanley, who is a state-of-the-art research and development centre, tested Heat Hero and is very happy with the results. Heat Hero was launched in September of 2015 and we're in, already in over 100 stores throughout Ireland. Costs only 280 euro with an average payback of one year. We are looking for 60,000 euro for 10% equity in our company that will be spent on marketing and sales on this proven product. You could maybe just have a look and then leave it on the floor if that's okay. As the dragons take a closer look at Heat Hero, Alison is first to question Art about his unique invention. Art, how are you? Fine, thanks, Alison. So you are the, the kind of guru of solid fuel heating. I don't fit comfortably with titles, to be honest, but we were at the Energy Show in 2016 and SEI awarded us the Innovative Product of the Show a Year Award. We got CIF funding, which is uh, 50,000 for 10% with Enterprise Island. Going back many years ago, it, it, it was seen as uh, quite a laborious, inefficient way of heating your home. You're saying then that we haven't come on in terms of the efficiency of the overall system. If you connect an oil boiler to your solid fuel heating system, the oil boiler company will say, you have to have pressure when you're connecting this oil boiler. But at the same time, you lose that pressure when you link it in with solid fuel, no matter what system you use. Okay. Whereas we, we actually fix that problem. Hey Art, you said you've the only device that increases pressure, but isn't that a pump? No, a pump circulates water. When we're talking about a solid fuel system, we're talking about an open vented heating system. So that's like a small tank in your attic that supplies the pressure to the system. When the pump came on, it actually pushed the pressure out of the system and circulated the water on zero pressure. So that slowed down the circulation. Instead of pushing the water out of it, we actually suck water into it. So we are creating pressure. You haven't changed the laws of physics with this. A fire generates so much heat and then yeah. heats up so many radiators. If it's about, I don't know, 1.5 kilowatt per radiator or something, yeah. you're just making it heat up faster. You're not making it get hotter. You're familiar with that, but that yeah, is... Yeah. We have solid fuel in our house. In order for you to get the value of that fuel that you've in that stove, you have to get as much water through there as possible. Once you get that water passing through fast, then you get a better heat transfer to your radiators. Hi, Art. Like all great inventions, it's simple. It's, it's simple. Just if, yeah. Get the water to the radiator much quicker and get it back. That pump is situated on the hot pipe that goes into your radiator. Up until this system was invented, the pump always went on the coal pipe. And when it came on, it pushed towards the expansion, and that took the pressure out of it. All we had to do was move the pump around. So instead of pushing pressure out of the system, we are taking pressure into it. But the reason why nobody ever could move the pump before is because every time they put the pump where we have it, it would cool the hot water. And all we had to do was inject the hot water where we wanted it. 
So that's what those in those boxes inject us. So now we tell the water where to go. And this is a, a patent product. Well, it's patent pendant. Art McCardle, you're telling me you've put a loop around a pump and you have it patent protected. What I patent is the direction of water around the cylinder. So I've reversed the cycle of the cylinder. And is it a plumber that installs this? Plumber that installs it, yes. So who are you selling to? Well, we mainly sell through the stores and we're selling it online too. Are people genuinely dissatisfied with their, their solid fuel systems? The way I'd look at it is like a car. So if you have a car that does 40 miles to the gallon, and next thing you know the car comes out and, it, and next thing you can get 80 miles to the gallon, or you can buy a part that'll give you that extra 20 mile that you're saving on fuel every day. Well, if you can do so, one of those, we'll all invest. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> but I am in solid fuel. It's been recommended by the people who actually make the stoves. Like, everybody that hears this story is happy. I have this concern that people who have just a solid fuel system without the oil or, or, or a dual system, well, they're not walking around in their boxer shorts, are they? You know, like, uh, uh, sorry, they're not sweating in their homes. You know, it's an ambient temperature, right? We have no oil. All we have is solid fuel. We have 300 litres of hot water and you won't feel uncomfortable in your boxer shorts. We might feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like this. You know, being in the den is a little bit like sitting in the leaving cert, and so far you have an A in physics, an A in engineering, but now we're <laughs> going to move on to business. All right, OK. So tell me about your sales so far and your projections for the next few years. We launched in uh, 2015, so we took in 20,000 and uh, we lost 7,000. In 2016, we took in 90,000 and we made a net profit of 20,000. In uh, 2017, we predict to take in 300,000 with a net profit of 80,000. In 2018, we predict a, an income of 700,000 with a net profit of 200,000. In 2019, 1 1.2 million with a net profit of 400,000. How much did you turn over in February of 2017? February 2017. We turned over, dig deep for that one now, to be honest with you. We sold about 50 units, I think it was. Sorry, I think it was 70 units, 70 units. I'm concerned about the trend of people buying stoves in yeah. the future. I feel this trend is going to decline. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I'm out. OK, that's it. Art is Barry's A student, but Chanel has declared herself out. Electricity supplier Eleanor wants to examine the demand for Heat Hero. Water for Stanley, you said they were highly impressed. What did they do about it? Well, they give us that stove. They've, well, that uh, was good of them. We are, we are in talks with Water for Stanley. They're a huge organisation. All right, OK. If you okay. were Water for Stanley, yeah. what would you do with this product? I would let people know about it. But would you sell it with your product? When people know about this product... No, you're not listening to the question. Oh, sorry. Right? Please listen to the okay, question. Okay, I'll listen to it, yeah. Right? Because if you don't give me good answers, I can't give you one you might like to hear. Okay, okay. What do they want to do with it? I don't know what we're going to do, what they are going to do with it yet. Ideally, they will put one with every, every boiler stove. I think that would be very hard for them to do because you have a lot of other stove manufacturers and I think they all have to do it at the same time. Ah, uh, uh, so whoa, whoa, what do you mean they all have to do it at the same time? It might just price them up above the other competition. That's oh, yeah, I... but sure. They could do things like, for further fuel efficiency, yes. we would highly recommend. Absolutely. Like, but absolutely. is there any chance of that happening? Yes, there is every chance of that happening. OK, I'm not convinced. Either you're the emperor's new clothes or you're a deal for me and I can't make up my mind. Art, you have to help me. Your mother has a back boiler. She does. She's burning too much fuel. So if you love your mother, you'll get a heat hero. <laughs> But Simple. that's just by one. But there's a lot of mothers out there in the same boat. Art, plumbing to me is a wonderful mystery that just yeah. delivers hot water and, and heat in the house. And yeah. it's not really a mystery that I'm looking to solve. No, that's personally. fine. Personally. So for that reason, I'm out. That's 100%. Art, let's just stay with the Waterford Stanley angle for a moment. You do know who owns Waterford Stanley now? 
you know, American company, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Aga, range master, bought Waterford Stanley, and Middlebury, who own Rayburn. It's huge. So if you can sort of do something here, the potential is limitless. Well, the easiest way to make money is to come up with something simple and solve people's problems. That's it. What would you do with 60,000 euro? It's mainly uh, uh, sales and marketing. I'm going to make you an offer, Art. Thank you. There's an awful lot to do here. So I'm going to offer you 60,000 for 32%. After some intense questioning from Eleanor, she has made Art an offer. Will Gavin or Barry outmaneuver the electricity supplier? Art, I think, you know, what Eleanor brings, obviously, is she's in the energy business and there's a great synergy between what you're doing and her core business and, and the contacts she has. I can't really bring you that. I, I do think the percentage she's looking for is a bit high. Thanks, Barry. But I think she's probably the right match if you can get the right deal. I'm out. Barry can't compete with Eleanor. Will Gavin follow suit? Barry's convinced that Eleanor is the right fit for you. I think I am, so I'm going to offer you uh, 60,000 uh, for 30%. Do you want to have a think about it? Yeah, do you mind? Gavin feels he is the right fit for Art, offering him the full amount for 30% of Heat Hero, 2% less than Eleanor. Will Art do a deal? Well, I was wondering what would be ideal for me would be if I could have the two of you. Art, you're greedy, I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you walk that way, and if we could round it off at 30%. Do you want do you the think? kitchen sink as well? <laughs> is, is that a possibility? I want all or nothing. Oh, really? Really. <laughs> <laughs> Decision time, isn't it? Uh, a big fan of Polius, of all of really, you know, like, you know, you're a new lady. Well recovered, except <laughs> me. <laughs> you need to ask Eleanor if she's going to reduce her percentage. Yeah. Uh, like, what about 25%? Absolutely in your dreams. What about you, Gavin? You, like, would you have any sort of links in with, with energy companies or any of that sort of stuff? Or, what, do you mind me asking? <laughs> um, I think most importantly, I believe in the product. Eleanor is not going to apparently come down, so I think it's just me. Uh, do you want to Will drop you out? To 30? I can't, Art. Can you not? You need the 32. Right, well, look at, uh, look at Eleanor, you're a perfect fit. I'm, I'm sorry, Gavin, but if you don't mind, I'll... Take your offer. Art, you made the right choice. Good oh, man. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Come on, Art. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Gavin, hey, what can I say? Perfect fit, hey. <laughs> Perfect fit, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what a promoter. What an honest, authentic guy. You've got a really good business partner there, Eleanor. I have. I just hope I understand enough about Heat Heroes. I'm just feeling re rejected, you know. Uh, and he was such a nice man. Art, well done. Congratulations. You did really well in there. But you also did something very unusual. You went for the dragon that was looking for more equity in your business. I felt that that was the best fit because of the energy ties. So had you identified Eleanor even before you went in as somebody that you really wanted to land? Eleanor was my target, to be honest. Well done. Thanks very much, Richard. It's been a complete pleasure.